All right, guys, what's going on? This is Keaton here from uh, Hook'em Royals. Just kind of want to give you guys an update. This was going to be a second video, but as you can see, um, we're running into problems here in Texas. It's very cold outside. We've lost power. Um, currently, as you can probably tell, pretty frozen. Um, we've been out of power for about six hours, lost power last night. Had to go pick up the generator trailer and um, just trying to keep things going with a few space heaters in here. It's holding decently about 65, 70 degrees. It's not ideal, but um, you know, 70 degrees is a whole lot better than 20. So uh, we'll take what we can get. Anyway, I wanted to kind of go over this on this video, uh, a few pairings and a few things like as far as females that are going, um, just to kind of, you know, let you guys know um, how things are going. So uh, we'll start out, I think this girl, she was locked a little while ago. As you can see, here's the male. He is a butter clown het desert ghost and they were locked for about a day um and she is a cryptic krypton het desert ghost so very cool pairing there i'm hoping she proves krypton because if she does um that could mean some dg clowns in that clutch which would be very good um moving on right here uh, we have our, some stuff in the puzzle this girl right here is a lesser possible pastel she may be pastel you can see the head kind of blushed um het puzzle and she is currently at about 28 millimeters. Um, if you want to swing over here real quick, I'll show you guys. We have a little ultrasound. Best purchase I've ever made. Um, but yeah, she's currently at 28 millimeters, and she was locked to a GHI HEP puzzle first. And then I got one last lock in, which I think that'll be our last lock, was 114.23. So, you know, give or take about 10, 15 days. Um, but she locked to the Pastel Cypress Stranger HEP puzzle. So very cool clutch there if she takes, I mean, either way, a GHI lesser puzzle would be cool, but a stranger puzzle would be even better. Uh, moving on, I'm not gonna kinda, I'm only gonna, gonna go over the girls that right now technically are like have good follicles are gonna go. That way I, you guys can, you know, just know what's happening over here at Hook'em. Um, the NCDG girl, she laid 925, so she's not getting paired. Leo's not getting paired. Uh, but right here, these, or this, these couple were locked up earlier. They're not right now. But she is a lesser clown, and he is a pastel super GHI chocolate head clown. And they were locked up for about a day as well. Um, I checked on them, threw them in two days ago. They've been in for a little over a day. Uh, they were locked this morning when I checked. Um, moving on right here. Next up, we have a pastel yellow belly head desert ghost. And um, she's actually got about 19 millimeter follicles right now, if I remember correctly. And she has also been paired to the butter clown head desert ghost. So, you know, hopefully some cool uh, holdback um, Desert Ghost Het Clown stuff, hopefully. Uh, moving on here, we have a Cinnamon Het Puzzle. She's actually coming off the tail end of an ovulation. She swelled up really big. Um, she's actually, no, she's in full-on shed right now. I just couldn't see her eyes. Yeah, no, she's uh, pre-lay shed right now, so she should lay here in the next 25, 30 days, hopefully. Um, next up, we have a Pastel Clown. She's actually about to ovulate any day now. Um, she was at 34 last time I checked. And after they get a pat, honestly, after they get about 25, I really don't lock anymore at all. I don't do anything. I just let nature take its course. If they're gonna go, they're gonna go. Um, usually they go all food by then, so it's kind of how I do things. Right here we have a GHI yellow belly hip puzzle. As you can see, she laid 531 last year. She's actually got about 19 to 20 millimeter follicles right now. Um, so she's building up to go. Uh, but she hasn't been paired at all. So I'm just waiting. I want to wait until she breaks the, the 20, the 25 range, and then she's going to be going to the Pastel Cypress Stranger Het Puzzle Mail. And the reason I'm waiting is because I don't want to pair her to anything else because um, I want to guarantee at least one clutch this year is, fingers crossed, to the Stranger Het Puzzle. So this girl will be an awesome clutch. You know, have a chance of missing the Pastel and hitting a Cypress GHI Stranger Puzzle, which would be just out of this world um, really cool girl and the uh, uh, mostly these girls honestly in the puzzle and in the um in the monsoon project are me and jonathan's um you know t kind of uh our together project i guess you could say we both kind of bought into it um he's got more of the pet puzzle girls and um, we kind of evened out on the monsoon but the male as far as the puzzle goes um is just unmatched you know you can't find a pastel cypress stranger hit puzzle male anywhere um, so I think we kind of both really, uh, get a good part of the deal and, you know, shout out to Jonathan for helping me get started. You know, this is my second season. 
and um, he's been doing this for freaking years, man. And to have somebody like him come and mentor me and offer, you know, to go in on projects like this with me is just out of this world because without him, dude, I wouldn't have, I just have regular Pied, Clown, DG, maybe something cool. But dude, who has a 1.5 in Monsoon going this year? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just unheard of. Uh, moving on, we've got an Orange Dream Lemon Blast Pied. This girl right here is sitting at about 20 milliliter follicles. I think we're gonna go ahead and pair her to the Pastel Cypress Stranger Het Puzzle just to produce some Stranger combos. Not that we want Stranger and Pied because honestly, I don't really care for it. But you know, as far as females go, it'd be cool to hold back some Het Puzzle females or some Post Het Puzzle females. So uh, yeah, that's cool. The Monsoon stuff, uh, they're gonna go late season. When we got them last year, when they were in Cali still, all of them had really good follicles, like past 12 to 15 millimeters, but it was late in the year. So, um, you know, they've once, once he shipped them down here, they've grown like crazy. I mean, that girl was, like she's grown 1500 plus grams since she's been here and it's only been five months i think five to six months so a lot of these girls are doing really really good but uh moving on follicle wise we have a inchy spinner 66 percent het puzzle and um she is doing great she's huge as you can tell she loves the smaller tub this is a ve tub a ve6 tub she loves the small tub will not eat in the in the 50 40 or the 50 by 40, she won't eat in the 70. Um, she only likes this tub, so that's why they're over here. So it's the same thing with the girl underneath her. But she's doing good. She's got uh, around 15 millimeters right now. I think it's more closer to like 13. But um, she's doing well. She just locked to the GHI. Like I said, I'm gonna let these girls get bigger as far as follicle-wise go before I you know, bring the stranger in, since the stranger is on the lower side as far as weight goes. I mean, he's 750 grams. But you know, the, the GHI head puzzle is over a thousand, so. Next up, as you can see, this girl is dark. She's just a GHI head puzzle. Um, the other, her and the other one are siblings, as I told you in the last video. Um, you know, there may be something else in there. There was chocolate in the pairing to produce these girls when Jonathan picked them up and Callie. You know, him and I both went back and forth. You know, the only way to tell is just to breed them out. Um, she's got on the smaller side. She's got about seven to eight millimeter follicles, uh, but she's been on the cold side of the tub, as you can see. She's been burrowing down. Um, she's been paired to the GHI as well. So, you know, have a chance of hitting a super GHI puzzle, which is be unheard of, but yeah. So that technically, you know, that's everything right now that's showing signs of going. Like I'm talking, you know, going, like every one of those girls I showed you should have a clutch on the ground within two to three months. That's how, how they're, you know, developing. So uh, yeah, that's, um, that's how it's going right now in a blizzard storm in texas you know i don't like it i'm definitely going to be investing in a um, at home backup generator soon but we're making it work and I'll, I'll insert a quick clip of what i'm doing as far as generator goes outside and uh yeah peace guys all right sorry if you guys can't hear me this is currently what we're working with two big welder generators and all the way in here and like I said, it's not ideal, but we're making it work.